Good morning everyone from the Carnival Legend. Today we're going to be doing a walk through the ship. So starting on deck one on the Riviera, you're greeted with the Firebird Lounge. This is where you're going to be able to go for karaoke and smaller venue activities. It's beautiful. It has some nice artwork on the ceiling and some really comfy chairs. Wait, that was it? That was deck one? Yeah, just that one lounge. And on the promenade, we're going to twirl. Hey Pete, how you doing? And we're walking into the trump card room. I don't know if it's named after the president or, you know, just a big word. But in here, this is where you can play cards with your families. Don't expect to find any in here. You're going to have to bring your own. After that, we're greeted with a nice little seating area right across from the coffee bar. So over here, included with your drinks package, you get hot coffees, teas, served alcoholic or non-alcoholic. Next to the coffee bar, we have the Red Frog Pub. So in here, it's a cool little place to hang out at night. They have a little photo opportunity right there. This is where you can find some live bands at night. They have some games in here and activities, totally worth checking out. Also, they have specialty drinks, cocktails, and beer on board. So be sure to check out this pub if you're on the legend. Walking fast. We got the Dream Team Sports Bar, not to be confused with the Skybox Sports Bar that's on every other carnival ship, pretty much. This is just a nice little low-key place to watch some sports. It has some sports decorated memorabilia, walls, and there's a lot of TVs. So if there's a game on your vacation that you're looking to catch, definitely make sure you check it out here. And there's some computers here if you need to do work on vacation. I'm not sure who does that, but if it's you, I'm sorry. And making our way into the casino, we have the claw machine. So the casino on the ship isn't as large as it is on the newer ships, but it still has all the basic card games you need, a lot of slots. Uh, you'll get blackjack. There is video poker. They don't have actual tabled poker, but it gets the job done if you're looking to scratch that itch. Coming out of the casino, you're greeted with Banzai Sushi. Uh, basically, this is a paid for restaurant where you can get sushi rolls, some appetizers that are Japanese style. It's right next to the casino, so you do get a little bit of smoke. So that's not the most ideal eating place, but it's okay. It's right across from the main atrium. So here it's absolutely beautiful. It's the typical carnival atrium uh, with the glass elevators, the bar in the middle, and then they're hanging the new beautiful 50th anniversary banner. Check it out. Right across from there is guest services. Thank you, Pete, for pointing. So there you can make all your beautiful complaints, but beforehand, make sure you grab a drink at the main lobby to make the workers' lives a little bit easier. Where are we going, Pete? Of course, why wouldn't there be another bar on the second floor? We are greeted with the infamous Alchemy Bar from Carnival. Here they have specialty cocktails. They also create custom cocktails based on your flavor profiles, which is an absolutely incredible thing. I highly recommend checking this out. It is a Carnival fan classic. Up here we have the private club. So here you can go get stripper. Nope, nope, sorry. That's where the chef's table is. I was just informed. Sorry about that. And other than that is the nightclub. So here we don't have entry to it, but we'll just cut to a nightclub dancing. Ooh, crazy. And finally making our way to Truffles Restaurant. This is where you can go grab dinner. Make sure to sanitize before you get dinner. There's still some sort of virus out there from what I've been told. Uh, this is the main dining room for the night where it is included in your cruise fair and they have some great options the options do change every day so be sure to check out the menu on the carnival hub app okay on deck three the atlantic deck we're starting off across from truffles we have a nice little seating area where we have a piano say what's up to pete here you, there is a bar so you can grab a cocktail while listening to some live music if that's your thing here we have the kiosk, so you can come here and get your pictures from Pixels. And it is a nice little overview of the atrium on this floor. Walking through, we are greeted with the Fun Shops, a carnival fan favorite. You can get your duty-free liquors here, your cigarettes if you're a smoker, 
They got some jewelry, so if you're trying to drip out on your next vacation, be sure to check it out on the Fun Shops. All right, you guys get the picture. Here we have Cherry on Top. So this is the Carnival Candy Store. So if you want to satisfy your sweet tooth, feel free to check it out here. So here they have some cool little medallions and plaques from different ports that the Carnival Legend has sailed. And we're here at Billy's Bar. This is the piano bar on board. They do not have a so-called piano bar, but they do have a pianist here. And they have some cool seating arrangements here with some music notes. And then we are greeted with the arcade. So the arcade is one of our favorite places to hang out and just act like we're kids. Boom. Nice punch, Pete. Let's see if we can break the max here. 851. That doesn't seem like it's the max. All right, we're moving on. So we're checking out the rest of the games. It's cool. Definitely recommend checking out the arcade if you want to kill some time later on in the evening. Next, we have the Enchanted Forest. So this is a little seating area that is supposed to resemble a forest from a mythological book. It's a cool little place to check out. Got some couches, some seating areas. And in the Enchanted Forest, there is Circle C, which is the kids club on board. So your kids can go in there, check in, and you don't have to worry about them for the entire day. All right, so we're not starting with the deck number, but this is deck nine. This is the gym pool spa area. So you can come out here, burn some calories, and then walk through the hallway where you can get a pampering. This is a massage room where you can get some facials, massages, kind of however you want to treat yourself. You're on vacation, pamper yourself, enjoy your time on board. And across from that is a pool area. So you come outside, there is a pool area that has a plentiful amount of seating. You can take in the sun here. Uh, it's a little bit more quiet than it is in the main pool area. And then you come to the sliding door and you're greeted by the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. This is the bar that specializes in tequila cocktails. It's right across from the main pool, so you can catch a vibe here. They do have a DJ that plays music and you'll be able to hear it. And next to that is the Red Frog Rum Bar, so the bar that specializes in rum cocktails. And making my way through a crowd, we have Guy's Burgers, the infamous spot to get some breakfast, best burgers on the seven seas in my humble opinion. And next to that is the Blue Iguana Cantina, so this is the Chipotle of the seven seas. They have a bunch of meat options as well as some vegetarian options. And walking, walking through, the, through the buffet, this is the Lido Buffet, the option chains daily. If you need something for a quick and easy to go and you're not feeling a burger, this is your best option. There is a lot of seating. We had a packed ship, but we never really had too much of a hard time finding a place to sit down and eat lunch inside. And of course, coming across there, we have Serenity. So this is the adults only area. You can rent towels. They have clamshells at no extra charge, just good luck trying to get one, wake up early. And then they have lounge chairs with some padding. So they go all out for the adults, the ones who are paying for the vacation. There's also a little bar area here with a private pool. So no kids allowed here. It is tranquil, hence serenity. All right, walking up to deck 10, you can start seeing the water slide. So we'll get into that a little bit later in the tour, but this is Waterworks, where all the kids can go down, play in the slides and play in the water, stay cool. And this is the Green Thunder. It is one of the coolest carnival water slides that I've been on personally. And walking through, this is the Steakhouse. It is in the carnival glass funnel. This is one of the only class of ships that actually has a see-through funnel, and it's awesome that the Steakhouse is in it. And here's a tucked away ping pong table. And then you can see the main pool area from up here. And here is another pool area. And walking up to deck 11, this is where you're able to go golfing. They have mini golf around here. You get a nice view of the pool and an even better view of the dancing. And right here is mini golf, like I said before. So this is the sports deck. They have mini golf all around. And then walking down, there is a basketball court. So a full-size court if you wanna get some hoop in. 
and visiting back towards Waterworks. So this is the kids area that you can come in play. Actually, this is for anybody. We played around in the splash zone. So they have a bucket that dumps on your heads. They have some water guns, all a bunch of fun just to stay cool and out of the hot Caribbean sun. And this is where the green slide exits. And then you're greeted. This is a pro tip here. This is a hidden spot for tanning. So if you can't find any day beds or any sort of chairs, this is a great spot to come. You get a good view of the ship and the ocean, not to mention that glass funnel that we talked about before. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kyle and Pete here from the Boat Breakers, and we just wanted to talk to you guys about the Boat Breakers giveaway. Yeah, so check out the Boat Breakers giveaway. We have our subscriber milestones that we'd like to hit, and we got some pretty fancy prizes to give you guys. So yeah, take a look, and don't forget to subscribe and comment. We appreciate everything you guys have been doing so far, and we want to give back to you. So it means the world to us. Make sure to subscribe. Love you guys. Peace.